Godzilla for my own backyard. I'm with Fran from Steppables, and you have this great item called Creature Features on your website. Right, they're, they're really cute little topiaries that we've done that you can actually get the steppable plants to use as skins for the topiaries and make your own little creature features. And this is something for everyone in the family. What a great project for somebody to do, and it's a pet that you don't have to walk. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, and they're so much fun. We have horses, and we have Godzilla, and we have frogs, and um, kitty cats, kitty cats. Oh, We have a whole bunch of really neat stuff. We have coffee cups and everything that you can possibly imagine to plant in your garden, just to give it that really neat little accent. And it's fun to get someone interested in a gardening. Maybe this little boy isn't, or Aunt Harriet is into gardening, but you get right. her a teacup or a Godzilla, and they can make some plants and enjoy them all summer. Right, and it's a really easy couple hour project for anybody to do. You know, it does look kind of um, very intricate, but you're going to show us how to make it easy. I'm going to show you how to cheat and do it in a couple <laughs> hours. All right. Well, we're going to work on this turtle here. And you know, when I first saw this, I thought, I'm going to need tweezers. Yeah, and actually what we do, I cheat. I, I think gardening <laughs> should be fun, but also something that's a doable deed. So what we do is simply just snip all of the wires right out of the middle of the topiary. So just the littler ones, not yeah, the big not ones. not the big supporting ones. Okay. You need that to, to hold the topiary straight. But now what you can do is actually cut, these to cut the wires right off. Ah. Okay. And then all we have to do is dig in there a little bit. All right, so I could just take this out. And you can use any kind of thing. I, you know, I don't always have my tools available, so I use any <laughs> kind of tool I can find. That's a pumpkin carver. All right. Which actually worked tremendously well. <laughs> and it's just got some guts in here. It's just moss. That's all it is. And so what's really nice about the steppables is you can take about half the root ball off, uh -huh. and it'll still be absolutely fine. You won't hurt it a bit by doing that. No, you probably actually stimulate it. And, and once you have that hole, then you can really shake off a bunch of the soil. All right. And we'll live and do a little bit more. All right, I'm not doing a good job here. Oh, Maybe you make it a little that. deeper there. There you go, let me have it. Okay. And you just plug it in and there. And you just plug it in there. And then what you really want to do is you can take all of that other green moss and just and plant cover it. it. Okay. Yeah, just cover it right around there so you don't even know he's there. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be so cute. Yeah. It's kind of going to have a golden tone to it. Exactly. And so then what you can do is you can actually take your plant and you can shear it. Mm -hmm. And then it'll branch out. Absolutely. So it's a little grooming. It could be kind yeah. of fun during the season. You kind of trim it and you're actually playing with your new pet. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you can put a little name tag on it. You can give them little, little pieces of uh, toys. Uh -huh. um, there's all kinds of things that you can do to make kids really get a sense of the fact that they're part of the garden. And that's what it's all about. And then what's the weekly care on this? All you have to do is water it. So you can water it from above. You can soak it if you'd like. Um, you can mist it during the summertime with a little hand mister. Okay. Um, any of those things will work really, really well. And then in the wintertime, bring it in, put it on a bright lit area, uh -huh. and then you can bring it out for next spring. Oh, that's just great. Well, I think it's a great project for your family, family members, friends, and we can just go to the website and click on Creature Features. Exactly. We have the topiaries there and the plants, and we can help you match it up, too. Well, thanks so much. It's a great project. Thanks.